warm greetings to all the learners of English language. We welcome the new viewers to our channel English Flight Academy. This vocabulary series is the best tool for anyone who wants to enrich their vocabulary and increase their command over the English language. I am sure this will help boost your score in TOEFL and IELTS too. Subscribe to our channel English Flight Academy. If you haven't done so, click the bell icon so that you get the notifications of our new videos in this vocabulary series. Share the video with family and friends so that they all express themselves more accurately in English. So the vocabulary series is for intermediate and advanced learners. Welcome to the world of words. Why is good vocabulary important? Good vocabulary is essential to communicate clearly. In this vocabulary series, we will guide you through to achieve greater success in written and spoken tasks. So let's begin the journey of enriching our vocabulary from today. Let's quickly revise parts of speech. Naming words are called as nouns, replacing words are called as pronouns, and action or state of being words are called as verbs, and modifying words are called as adverbs. Position and direction words are called as prepositions. Joining words or connecting words are called as conjunctions. And expressing words are called as interjections. So that was the review of parts of speech. What does conversion mean? In English, one word may possess different forms. A word may have a noun form a verb form, an adjective form or an adverb form. For example, joy is a noun there. When we add en to that, it becomes enjoy and it becomes a verb. And when we add ful to joy, it becomes an adjective and ly to that, then it becomes an adverb. Joyfully is an adverb. So the transfer of a word from one part of speech to another part of speech technically is called as conversion. So what's a suffix and prefix? A suffix is a syllable which we add at the end of a word in order to get another word. Joy is a noun. When we add ful to it, it becomes joyful which is an adjective. A prefix is a syllable which we add at the beginning of a word in order to get another word. Happy is an adjective but when we add un to that which is a prefix, it becomes an adjective and it's unhappy. Let's learn word families to boost your vocabulary. What are word families? Word families mean several types of word groups. Dear students, an important thing to note here is, if you learn to recognize word families, believe you me, it can multiply your word power. I emphasize word families help you learn new vocabulary and amazing reading skills. Okay, I'll teach word families with greater depth in the upcoming videos. One example I gave on the screen which is beauty. Beauty is actually a noun and beautician is also a noun. But beautiful is an adjective and beautify is a verb and beautifully is an adverb. So this becomes a word family. I hope it's very very clear. Words for the day are blossom, rigor and vista. Okay. This vocabulary vase is going to definitely help you boost your score in any competitive exam. So please pay attention while you begin this journey of vocabulary series. Okay. So look at the screen. The first word for the day, blossom. As a noun, it means a 
flower or a mass of flowers on a tree and as a verb it means develop and flourish blossoming is an adjective and it means flourishing blossom as a noun the tree is beginning to blossom okay the tree is beginning to blossom what does blossom mean blossom means mass of flowers are appearing on a tree so the tree is beginning to blossom you can see the picture and you can learn the meaning very quickly ms dhoni has blossomed into a top class cricketer and captain so blossom is used as a verb there and it means developed okay ms dhoni has developed into a top class cricketer and captain blossoming means flourishing right so that little girl is flourishing so a blossoming talent talent is a noun and blossoming is describing the talent noun so that becomes an adjective okay the second word of the day is rigor rigor as a noun means strictness or harshness and rigorous as an adjective means very strict okay and rigorously as an adverb means very strictly let's use rigor in a sentence nelson mandela was punished with unusual rigor unusual means unexpected or abnormal okay he was punished when he was in prison and the whites when they were ruling south africa they had put him in prison and they punished with unusual rigor okay rigor as a noun means harshness okay so nelson mandela was punished with unusual harshness by those white people rigorous as an adjective when we use it in a sentence rigorous practice was given to indian team before 2020 world cup series okay that means very strict practice was given to indian team before 2020 world cup series so rigorously as an adverb the players had to practice rigorously before 2020 world cup means they had to practice very strictly okay there was no compromise on the practice so they had to do that that means rigorously is very strictly and the third word of the day is vista it's a noun and uh, two meanings it has a pleasing view especially from a high position and another meaning is a possible future action or event that you can imagine okay it could be even possible future actions or events that you can imagine then we call that as vistas okay okay when it is plural vistas we can say and when it's a singular then we can say a possible future action or event that you can imagine i could see a scintillating vista from the balcony of my room so what is vista a pleasing view right especially from a high position leaders discuss great vistas of advancement that means possible future actions or events that they could imagine they discussed okay so vistas means future actions or events okay that you can imagine let's revise words for the day blossom rigor and vista The vocabulary homework for today is write at least two sentences using the following words blossom as a noun as a verb as an adjective okay and then rigor as a noun as an adjective and as an adverb you learned the other forms of that so you have to revise it thoroughly okay and vista as a noun right a piece of advice to all my students study english slowly and methodically don't cram it please cramming is not the way to prepare for the toefl test or ielts test learn english completely read books and magazines watch television watch good movies 
listen to conversations in english and write most of the students don't feel like writing but writing is essential to register the things do everything you can to obtain a good foundation in english i hope this vocabulary series is definitely going to enrich your vocabulary do subscribe to our channel english flight academy hit the bell icon so that you get notified about all the newly uploaded videos click the like button if you feel the video is worth liking and share it with your family and friends so that they learn english and gain command over the english language thank you for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next video with uh, another set of words of vocabulary i hope this vocabulary was is going to help you a lot in your competitive examinations goodbye for now happy learning